Hello, I'm Latoya Crawford, the host of A Moment of Inspiration. It's a community talk show designed to empower, encourage, and inspire a community of boys and girls, men and women. Now, just recently, I sat down with the educator, Ms. Deborah Knight, a powerful educator in the Thomas County Schools. She discussed with me the concerns of education, the many hats she has to wear as an educator, and the importance of developing a positive path in order to find your purpose purpose in life. Now let me tell you, I truly enjoyed this interview. I think you will too. So let's take a look. It's not about you, mm -mm. but it's all about uh, what it is that you have to go through so that others um, might be able to prosper. Welcome, Miss Knight, to a moment of inspiration. I want to thank you so much for being the very first guest on this talk show. So welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Thank you. Well, I just, again, I want to thank you. I know you said at first you wanted to chicken out on this interview, but I want you to understand that this show has purpose. And I called you because your life has purpose but so many times when people's lives have purpose it also has pain yes and that's why I've asked you to come to be a part of this show to inspire someone who also has purpose but is dealing with pain so can you give me some words of inspiration of how you get through the pain as you meet your purpose in life well uh, first of all you have to know that your life really um, you were born for purpose and I think um, through our everyday trials and tribulations of uh, getting to that um, divine purpose, uh, we do have to encounter some of those hurts along the way. But uh, my word would be to persevere. Uh, know that it is not because of you that you do what you do, but it is because of a greater power um, that's invested in you that you do what you do right? Uh, to give the qualities of life, the success, uh, and spread the joy to others um, as you go through this pain of reaching uh, your destiny. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Well said. And you mentioned as you do what you do. And what you do, you do it so well. You are the principal at Thomas County Middle School, probably one of the largest middle schools in this area. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have 5th, 6th, 7th, and 8th grade. Yes. at your school so but and I worked for you and I was honored to have worked for you and you being my principal but yes. I watched you and you did you spread joy to mm -hmm. everyone you made everyone feel special you made everyone feel important so what was it like in the back of your mind or in your heart that helped you to make sure this goal was accomplished well I always think first that um, you want to treat people the way that you want to be treated yourself and um, in order to do that, you have to make sure um, that you realize with each word you say, um, with each um, a gift that you share, you do it with love. And unless you're doing it with love, um, it, that same um, love you're looking to come back to you uh, may not be generated um, you know, in the same manner. Mm -hmm. um, but I believe it's through... Um, the sharing, again, of that purpose that's been invested on the inside of you, um, that you create that balance in life. Um, and you do what you do not to be seen by others. Mm -hmm. You do it because of the investment that represents that joy that you want to receive on your own. Um, you can't do things that um, will create uh, an atmosphere of selfishness. Yes. You have to do things with balance so that everyone around you will profit uh, from whatever it is that you're doing. Wow. You know, you're just so awesome to me. Um, it's funny that you say that to find that balance because not only does Thomas County Middle School shine, but your own family just a minute ago the director was telling you how he was so proud of you and your son Adrian that you did such a good job raising him so not only do you find a balance in your career but also in your household and many of us have a hard time balancing the act yeah. how do you do it you take care of the work and you take care of the home well I'm taking care of home for me is always first you know 
I love my work and the children at my school, they are just precious because, you know, they are an extended family to me. I guess I don't look at them like work. Mm -hmm. I look at them as being my extended family. Um, but the three children that uh, I birthed, you know, those children are, you know, the essence of what, you know, life is for me. And uh, I try to teach them and uh, encourage and invest in them so that they will grow to spread the same joy that I feel into the lives of the people that they meet. It doesn't say that we're perfect mm -hmm. and we don't err, um, but as you know, we're all going to, you know, make those, um, I, we don't necessarily call them mistakes, but they are errors, right. which cause us to grow uh, and be stronger as we take those strides in the growing process. Um, just as Thomas County Middle School, you know, we're still growing mm -hmm. and we still invest in the lives of students uh, each and every day. But I always encourage the people who uh, share uh, my colleagues at the school that a family is always first because unless you can invest in your own family, uh, you cannot spread that same love uh, to the children that you meet on a daily basis. And they need that love and care. Wow. Yes. That's amazing. And, and I take that same approach as a teacher. You know, and I thank God for the success that I've had in the classroom, but it all starts from within, yeah. and therefore I can spread it to my own child, and then I can go on and, and give it to other people's children. That's and I see so much of me in you, yes. and you inspired me to even do this talk show, and I wanted to have my role model on this show the very oh. first time, and I couldn't get Oprah Winfrey, so I had to get the closest thing, and it was Miss Deborah Knight. So again, I am just so grateful and honored that you came. Uh, to do this show, not about you, not about me, but to help someone along the way to get through the pain and, and to reach the purpose in their life. That's and I want to close out with this quote. Someone posted this on Facebook. I don't know if you do Facebook, but this was something powerful. And it's a quote by Elizabeth Elliot. And it says, the fact that I am a woman yes. does not make me a different Christian. Yes. But because I am a Christian, it makes me a different woman. Yes. What does that mean to you? Well, it, it means to me as I go on this daily walk, um, sometimes uh, through uh, growing, uh, you know, you reach those moments where things can really pierce you. Um, it is not because for any reason that you don't uh, like what it is, uh, but you have the thoughts in your mind that you have to really, really understand that it's still about the purpose in which you were called, you know, to invest in. It's not about you, mm -mm. but it's all about uh, what it is that you have to go through so that others um, might be able to prosper. And I think that's the most difficult times that I share is um, when things, you know, come. Um, come upon me that are difficult, maybe things that I really don't truly believe in, but I know that it's being worked out so that it develops a stronger purpose mm -hmm. uh, through my life mm -hmm. so that I can also give that joy back and also that esteem to others as I move along. So it's just understanding who you are really called to be and know that, that, that purpose of uh, being who you are is needed to invest in the lives of others as you go through um, the pain. Wow. Mm -hmm. Miss Knight, yes. I am just, I'm just glowing, and I want to smile from either ear. And if yes. I was in church, I'd probably jump up and shout. Yes. But I have to keep my composure because we're on a talk show. But I thank you so much because I know someone out there, someone sitting at home right yes. now, got something from your message. They were inspired today, empowered today, and encouraged to find that purpose in their life. Well, and, and I hope that um, as we move along life's journey, you know, we don't get so uh, caught up in the things that we have to go through, but we can see far beyond them and know that even when people don't treat you the way you 
you know you think you might be deserving of, um, just just say to yourself, it's not about me. It's all about my purpose. Thank you, Ms. Knight, for that wonderful interview, our very first guest on a moment of inspiration. I hope she truly inspired you, empowered you, and encouraged you to reach your dream. Now, we want to congratulate Ms. Knight. She has been promoted. She's no longer the principal at Thomas County Middle School, but she will now wear a new hat at the board office as one of the assistant superintendents in the Thomas County School System. So, Ms. Knight, congratulations. Truly, you're continuing to find many purposes in your life. Thank you so much for that interview, and thank you for tuning in to a moment of inspiration.